What is a straw purchase? Hey folks, Joe here with Ages Tactical. Today we're gonna to talk about what is a straw purchase. I'm gonna read it off for you real quick so there is no confusion. Buying a gun for someone who is prohibited by law from possessing one or for someone who does not want his or her name associated with the transaction is a straw purchase. I'll get into more detail on that in a second. But listen, an illegal firearm purchase, AKA straw purchase, is a federal crime. Folks, you're gonna do the time. It's not worth it. An illegal firearm purchase can bring a felony conviction sentence of 10 years, that's 10 years, in jail and a fine of up to $250,000. Holy smokes, they're serious about this. If anybody here has ever purchased a firearm before, we filled out this dreaded form. It's the ATF Form 4473. And if you go down to question 11, now it's the first part of these series of all these questions here. Question 11, section A. Are you the actual transferee slash buyer of the firearm listed on this form? It's pretty much plain and simple. Is this gun for you? Are you buying this firearm for you? Yes, you check yes off in the box. Now, there's a big warning thing and it's in bold. This makes it really simple, folks. You are not the actual transferee slash buyer if you are acquiring the firearm or firearms on behalf of another person. Then you have to check no. At that point in time, a gun shop cannot sell you the gun. If you check yes, you are lying on a federal document. That's a crime, that is a straw purchase. So long story short, if you know you're purchasing a gun for a person that cannot legally own or possess that firearm, that is a straw purchase, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. So listen, you gotta be careful with this. You know, if somebody, especially a stranger, I mean, come on, nobody's gonna do that if a stranger says, hey, can you go pick up a gun for me? Really? But you know, if you have a friend, relative, or something like that saying, hey, can you go pick up that gun? You know, I don't know about my background. Don't do it, it's not worth it. Again, 10 years, $250,000 fine, are you kidding me? Is 10 years of your life worth buying a gun for somebody? No, it's not, or at least it should not be. We do see this here happen once in a while at the shop. People will come in and they'll act a certain way. We can tell after a while, or they'll say certain things, or something's wrong. We'll ask them, who's this gun for? And sometimes people tell me, ah, it's for my cousin. You know, he didn't want to come down and do it. Eh. Straw purchase, denied, you're not getting it. Does this mean you can never buy a gun for anybody? Let's say like your, your, your wife, your husband, your kids or something like that? No, it doesn't mean that at all. You are allowed to gift a gun. That's really up to the individual shop at that point in time, but there's an easy way to do it so there's never any problems. Buy that person a gift card. So let's break this down. Is it worth 10 years of your life or up to $250,000 of your money to buy a gun for somebody just because they don't want to go through the background check or because they don't have a concealed weapons license and don't want to wait the three days? No, it's not worth it, folks. It's really not. Don't do it. Don't get caught doing it. It's very simple. If you want to buy a gift for somebody, one of the easiest ways around that is buy them a gift card. Let them come in and actually pick up the gun themselves. They're paying for it themselves. They're filling out the background check themselves. There's never any questions. If you have more questions about gifting a gun for somebody, more questions about a straw purchase, stop in the shop, see us. We're right here at 5103 Lena Road in Lakewood Ranch. Give us a call, 941-755-1610. Check us out online at agesguns.com. That's A-E-G-I-S guns.com. You can always check us out on Facebook at Aegis Tactical. Folks, have a great day. We hope to see you soon.